Hey, what's going on guys? Seth here with Michael's Entertainment. And if you like what you're seeing in this video, as far as the quality of the camera footage, and if you like the way it's sounding, uh, and you thought, hey, how, how could I accomplish uh, kind of a, a, that level of quality? Well, this video is about how we did this. This is, <laughs> so I'm just gonna be talking about the devices that I'm looking at right now, uh, and that we use to, to do this. A7 III is the camera we're using. Uh, we're using the 50 millimeter um, lens that is just a few hundred bucks as well. We're running an HDMI cable out into a cam link device. We're gonna have links for all these things. The cam link connects into the computer and uh, kind of serves as an adapter and in between, a go between, between the camera and the computer. And the, that's the cam link. Um, then we're really just recording right out of QuickTime. Um, and QuickTime is a free app and it's connecting to the camera for visuals and the roadcaster for audio. This roadcaster um, is what this SM7B mic is being run through. You may recognize it as the one Joe Rogan uses um, and many, many other uh, high level podcasters. This is going to run you over $400 for the SM7B, but it's a really, there's a reason why Joe Rogan and all these guys use it. So um, definitely a good choice. You're going to run an XLR from that into the roadcaster. It actually has three other inputs. So in the future, if you end up doing more, uh, having more people in on your podcast in, in one area, then you can have four independent channels. Um, really, 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 really cool about the roadcaster is within it, there are all kinds of different settings that you can very user friendly um, control. So like, for example, if you're like, ooh, voice type for mic one, for me, I'd say medium or deep, and it's gonna adjust for that type of voice. And then you, there's other settings for if it's uh, high pitched or shallow and different things that you can click that are gonna be perfect. And it's instead of having to record the audio separately, edit it, and then go through the long process using high-tech software of, of making the audio sound as good as it does right now, it comes right out of the board sounding like that. So huge sa time saver and huge uh, saver when it comes to just something you don't have to figure out. Uh, we For a long time, we were editing all the audio through Adobe Audition, and you know what? With all our editing and time put into that, it still didn't sound as good as it does right now, just coming right out of the board. So Roadcaster is really gonna give you that benefit. Also the Roadcaster, if you wanted to, you can um, hook up a Bluetooth phone. So if you're having a phone call, you could um, use this. So your voice is gonna sound a lot better on the other end. Plus you can um, record the phone call if you wanna use it, you know, once you get permission, of course. There's a bunch of different buttons you can click for sound effects that you can have ready. Like the podcast that we do, um, there's a music intro we use and a music outro we use, and it's just a click of the button and a fade in with uh, the sound effect, and boom, you, you got that really premium podcast feel. Um, again, with just a small number. Uh, the Roadcaster, you're looking at, you know, when we got it, it was a little over 600 bucks. Um, also, we've got this. And actually, I didn't have it on, but this is just a ring light on a stand. And I'm gonna turn it on real quick. And that's a little intense. Um, still a little bright. I gotta adjust my camera real quick. And uh, yeah, I think that looks pretty good. So yeah, guys, we'll have links for all these uh, in the description below. There's all kinds of YouTube videos going into more detail on what each of these things do on an individual basis and how to work with them together. Um, so all that information is totally free and you end up getting these devices through one of our links and you want us to share some of those videos with you, feel, feel free to reach out. But uh, yeah, this has been a, just a little video on how we make these videos. So um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stop. I'm going to hit this button, stop recording on the uh, QuickTime 
dashboard here. I'm going to export that into um, my Premiere Pro, uh, Final Cut, or you know, whatever works. But we, we use uh, Adobe Premiere Pro. And I'm um, going to maybe throw some copyright free music on it and throw a little logo on it. And within less than 10 minutes of work, uh, I should be done with this video and be ready to publish it on YouTube and the other platforms we have. So that's one of the cool things about this system is you can run it all together and you don't have to do a whole lot of uh, extra work after the fact. It's, it's all kind of done <laughs> mostly right out of, right out of the uh, devices themselves. So let's see how it turns out. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. And uh, we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care, guys.